Hey you guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing part three, the bracket of uh, chapter 14. So I've got the drawing right here. Uh, this one definitely does not have great uh, dimensions on it, but I will do my best to explain them. So the way that I'm going to start out is I'm going to draw this uh, triangle shape right here of the back plate. Um, and then I'm going to extrude it the 10 mil. Um, and then I am going to extrude this little back piece. You can kind of see it in this picture, but if you scroll down... Uh, to the bottom right, you can see how this like uh, washer shape kind of sticks out. Uh, so I'll do that uh, next. Then I will cut the through hole on it. And then I will draw this base piece right here and extrude it out uh, forward. Then I'll come to the side view and draw the uh, in triangle shape right here and do a mid plane extrusion for the 15 mil width and then do the two uh, through holes right here and then the two uh in countersink holes um so this drawing is missing one dimension uh i think and it is a three mil uh depth of cut on the uh countersink um, i may have just missed it in the drawing but uh, i had to go and look that one up so here's what i was talking about on the drawing so first i will build this piece so this back plate and then second, I will do this extrusion here of the two mil. And then third, I'll do this bottom piece that sticks out. And then I'll do the fillet on both edges. And then the two through holes. And then the triangle part in the middle. Go on ahead and fill it everything. And then do the two counter sinks. All right, let's go on ahead and get started with the new part drawing. Remember to change it to millimeters. And we are ready to do the sketch. So we'll start drawing this on the front plane. So this drawing is pretty important that you have everything fully defined because you can start messing stuff up uh, pretty quick. So uh, we will use the origin right here as the center of the circles here on top. So I'll go on ahead and draw the top circle so it says a diameter or excuse me a radius of 20 which means diameter 40 and we'll draw two lines that come down from the circle that are slanted and then two that go straight down and then back over and then we need to make uh, both of the slanted lines and the circle tangent with each other so click on both and hold control and click the tangent button. You can either click it as it pops up or over on the left. And then we need to make this midpoint of this line right here uh, in line with this um, center point of the origin. So we're gonna click the center point of the origin and hover over this line down here until you see this yellow dot for the center point come up, hold control and click it. And then come over here to the left and do a vertical sketch relation. And that will make sure that the midpoint of this line is directly um, below the origin. And then we're going to make both of these lines right here the same length. I don't know why I did that. So we're going to click that line and click this line. Holding control and click equal. And now that'll make them equal. So now as we move this left and right, they will stay the same length. And then lastly, we need to make sure that this slanted line and hold control and click and this slanted line are the same length. So we'll click equal on those as well too. So now as we move it, they both stay in shape. Now we can come back to the drawing for some dimension. So this uh, straight line right here is 10 mil. So we can go on ahead and dimension that one to 10 mil. And it is 48 mil from the top of this face plate right here of this bottom part to the center of the circle. So it is 48 mil from the center point to the top of the straight line right here. So not to the bottom line here, but just the end of the straight line is 48 mil. And then for a width, it is 78 mil wide. All right, and that will fully define the sketch. And now we are ready to extrude it. So we'll do extrude boss, click on both of those segments, and it is 10 mil thick. 
There we go. And now we'll go back to the sketch plane. We'll draw this big circle again. So the center point was the origin. Draw another circle and dimension it to 40 again. It's fully defined now because the center point was on the origin, so it already locked it in. Go to extrude again and make sure that you go back uh, the other way. So we will do a blind extrusion and then flip it to make sure it goes through the part and then it is 12 mil deep. If you're drawing it on the back face for some reason, you can do the same thing, just extrude at the two mil depth. All right, so now it's extruded for a total of 12 mil thick, two off the back. And we can go back and lastly do one more sketch on the front for this and do a circle once again with the center point on the origin and dimension that to 20 mil diameter and do extruded cut and do through all. So over here on the left, go down to through all. And now we have this top part pretty much done. Now we can go to a uh, sketch again, click on this front face and we're gonna draw a rectangle starting at the bottom left, right down here and then ending at the top right of the straight segment. So not the slanted one, but just the top corner of this segment. Then when you click off, it should automatically be fully defined and go to extrude boss space for the selected contour. Make sure you select this area and do blind. And it is going to be a total of 37 mil from the back. So, we're drawing this on the front face. So instead of going from the sketch plane over here on the left, we're going to click it and do from surface. We click that and then we can click the back of the face and then we can set that as our reference point. And now when we do the 37 mil, it's going to be 37 mil off of the back. If you do 37 mil off of the front, it's going to be the wrong shape. Click that check mark, then come up here to fill it on the top middle. And on the drawing, you can see right here, it says R12. So that means that both of these fillets are going to be radius 12. And then we're going to click these two vertical lines. So right here and right here. And then that will fill it them to 12 mil. Do another sketch looking down on the top of this bottom piece. And we're going to do two circles. Size doesn't matter for right now because we're just going to get them dimensioned. Now we're going to highlight and click both of the circles while holding control. Make them equal sketch relation because both of these are the same size. We need to click both of the centers and make them a horizontal sketch relation. That way if you move one, it moves the other. And then now we need to get the uh, width of it. So it is 54 mil between center and center and it is 24 mil total less than the overall width. So that means 12 mil off per side. So we can go middle to middle of 54 and then one center to the edge is 12 mil. You don't need both of them. This would over define the sketch. And then lastly, the diameter is 10 mil. So you can see how it says two by 10 right there. That means they're both 10 mil. And then the depth off the back is 25 mil and that will fully define them. So from the midpoint to the very back is 25 mil. Now they're fully defined. We can go on ahead and extrude cut them both. Do through all and click the green check. Now we can do the countersinks. So go back to that same sketch and we're going to make both of these circles that we're drawing concentric with the ones we're drawing them around. So we're going to hover over the edge until we see that black plus. Click on that. That will automatically make them concentric. Click on both of them again. Make these both equal. And dimension one of them to 15. Now this is the depth that I said was not uh, in the drawing anywhere. If anybody finds it, leave a comment below so I can see it but um, we're going to do it to three mil deep. So go to extrude a cut and go to blind and click three mil. Hit that check mark. And now we have the countersinks done. And then lastly, we're going to do this triangle in, in the middle. 
So for the sketch plane, if you did your first one on the front, then your right plane should be perfectly through the middle. If you do not have the right plane perfectly through the middle or another plane, uh, you can come up here to reference geometry, click that and plane, click the right hand edge and this left hand edge and it will automatically make a plane in the very middle. But we're gonna use the right plane, so we'll click right plane and then go to sketch and then we're just gonna draw a triangle. So starting in this bottom right hand corner, going straight over and then diagonal up and straight down. So this inside bottom corner goes straight across, slants it up and down. And I think it accidentally grabbed a sketch relation right here. Yep, so we need to delete this sketch relation. It grabbed a midpoint on accident automatically. All right. So now we can dimension this to, says 20 mil wide and 32 mil tall. And it is fully defined and you can see how it just kind of sticks out here in the middle. Then go to features, extrude boss, click on this middle part and make sure you do mid plane. And it is 15 mil wide. Click the check. Now the drawing is done. We just need to add in all of the fillets on everything. So um, how I would do this is I would go on ahead and save the part right now. Uh, that way we know we have a good base part because sometimes the fillets can get a little weird um, if you put them in in a wrong order. So we can see that we have fillets on all of these edges, all of the center, and then up and around the top. So if you look down on the drawing, it says that uh, all rounds and fillets are three radius. So we can go to fillet and three mil. And we're just going to click all the, all the edges one at a time. So this front edge, it automatically grabbed all of it. Grab this right hand, or sorry, the left hand part. This curve, the front. Curve, the front. And if it does not work, you can just grab pieces one at a time. All right, so that should be everything. So we'll click the green check and then just give it a look over and make sure that it filleted everything that you needed it to. And then the last step is to change the material to cast iron. So gray cast iron, apply. And that is it for the bracket. Comments below if you have any questions.